It's mailbox time. This arrived <gasps> from DF Robot. So I had a chat with these a few weeks ago. Um, Vault the Robot introduced me to them and they sent me a free gift. It's nice to get a box that's different from a JLC PCB box. Oh yeah, still sealed. Oh, nice. All right, so they sent me this because they wanted me to make a video about it. I don't really know a lot about it. Otherwise, it was some kind of little uh, single board microcomputer with a screen, which you can see there. It's called a Uni Hiker. It's got a nice little box. So let's open this and have a look. It's almost a shame. I don't want to uh, get it out of this box. It's quite a nice little box. All right. Oh, that's nice. So... Yeah, you get the idea of the sort of thing it can be. And this uh, edge connector down the bottom probably gives you a clue as to, well, the standard interface that you can use. So it's not too big. It looks like this is it. OK, well, it looks interesting. Oh, yeah, those are the screw mounts. USB host port, USB-C. A little switch, always good fun. And this micro bit style board down the bottom, which of course is useful if you want to connect things like this to it to get you three volts or the ground that you can connect to crop clip. But yeah, we'll see what else this does. I think I've got a little micro bit adapter somewhere. I'll see if that's compatible with it. I think it probably is. Quite useful. So these side connectors always the wrong way i oh, know that's a four-way one rookie mistake yeah so these side connectors will go in there all right i had a di an idea of what i wanted to use this for i think it's going to be too nice to uh do what i did but who knows whether i'll be able to program it or not i don't know i do like it when they do nice cables these nice little cable wrap as well I mean, this is quite expensive, I think. I was looking on their site and I think it's about £70. Pounds. I'll just put a screen grab of how much this is. Can't remember exactly. Maybe you can buy it from different places. So it just says plug it in and see what happens. So let's do that. In we go there. I'll just plug it in off my standard USB first, whether there's enough power to drive it. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, it's a, so it's a touchscreen then. It looks like it's a Linux system, so similar to Raspberry Pi. Exit. It should be touchscreen as well, if I recall. So if I do, yeah, English. Oh. All your base belong to us. There you go, Unihiker. I'm not as up on Linux based systems as I have been on doing things like MicroPython on the Pico, but I have used my fair share of Linux boxes. So this little thing, how to use it wirelessly, connect to five volt power adapter, then, oh right, okay, there is a manual. <laughs> I'm so uh, used to these things just arriving that to have a decent or so manual, which is in English as well, is pretty good. So it looks like I can connect. Can I connect to the network on this? Might have to connect it to my backup network and see what happens. And there's another. OK, that's just one thing. That's connect it to the computer and wait for it to appear and then talk to it by entering the local address there. OK. Long press home to enter the menu. I assume that's the home button there. Yeah, it says home over there. Long press home. Oh, this is interesting. Get started, run programs. Well, I'm going to go straight for the run programs. Or not. Run programs too. Come on. Demo media root. Demo. Hello world. Snake. Always for the snake. 
Ah, Python. Pi game. I mean, how on earth I can control this? I've got no idea. Your score is 10. Maybe I can plug a little there. Uh, oh, there's an A, B, and there's a home button on the back. Ah, right. Just worked it out up and down there. And then that button, that's how we move around. Yeah, so if I go to run programs, and I can move up the programs like this, I think. See what the other programs on it are. Chart. Chart start. Okay, draws a chart. We don't know why. It's just showing off because it can draw a chart. Okay. Um, oh, well, I've got spirit. There we go. Spirit level. That's better. That might be interesting. I notice this has got quite a lot of sensors. So oh, there we go. Yeah. So the, sorry about the reflections, but I mean, that doesn't feel well, maybe it, is. it seems to lock into the center a little bit. But yeah, so it's got an accelerometer in it as well, so that's good, isn't it? What else is good? Got a decent amount of uh, little demo programs on this. Sticker face tracking. I don't think this has got a uh, camera in it, I don't think. Let's see what it does. Uh, augmented reality, insert a camera to it. Yeah, so I need to plug a camera if I just happen to have a camera. I mean, I do have USB cameras, don't I? USB cameras that I've converted webcams. Maybe I'll find one of them and stick it in and see what happens later. Media. No media. All right. Maybe I can put some media on it and get something playing on it. I'll try that later. Oh, that's cool. Right. OK, so if you want to know some tutorials about this, there's a QR code that you can scan. All right. I'm probably going to leave this as an intro to it anyway at the moment. I don't think I'm going to do more on this today. Maybe I'll I'll look at this and uh, see where else we can go for it. So if you're interested in this, I'll just put a link to their website in the description. They've sent me this for free to do a video about it. So this is the video so far and I might uh, see what else it can do and do some other videos at a later date. Okay, bye.